Well, um, I never thought I was going to say this. I got to be honest and no shade against the subject matter of this conversation. I'm just not used to this as a pattern from them. Um, but Paris Lily came on a pro Xbox uh, podcast and he took no prisoners. Hey everybody, it's your boy MM2K of MM2K Gaming. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about a special subject matter here, which includes the whole Game Pass um, tier hike and removal or reconstruction or whatever you want to call it that is happening on the console side. But before we get to that, please hit that like button and subscribe, please. Uh, it makes the channel better for you. All right. So Paris Lily went on, like I said, a pro Xbox podcast and he just gave them the straight dirt, man. He, he, he wasn't in the mood to play any games. He wasn't mean or anything like that, but he was very shrewd and to the point. And it's something that I feel we don't normally see from Paris when it comes to Xbox doing some of the shadier things, right? And to be fair, he didn't necessarily say it was shady, but he pulled the veil back and was like, look, man, this looks too funny in so many words. Like, and we need clarity on this. And he did that in the height of these pro Xbox panel members trying to excuse what Xbox did in raising the price and reconstructing the Game Pass console core tier or console tier, excuse me. I know it's so confusing. I'm, I'm mixed. I don't say it eight different Game Pass tiers. It's Game Pass console that they reconstructed. And they did it in a way that they've talked previously in not doing, right? Um, and they were trying to excuse this by saying, but PlayStation raised the price of their tears and nobody said anything about that. And, and here's the thing that Paris brought up, which really shows that these two moves were not the same. Nobody is surprised that Game Pass is going up in price. All these subscription services that are falling flat, whether it comes to gaming, whether it comes to Netflix and all these other services, Amazon Prime that's throwing in commercials now when you gotta pay more money, essentially. So that is kind of like a price hike if you, you wanna get the commercials out your face. All these subscription services are raising prices. No, Nobody faults Xbox for doing that. And it's not like they raised the prices up like $30, $40 yet. <laughs> we don't know what you know what's gonna happen. That being said, it's the price hike and the reconstruction of the console side that was hinted like we're not going to do that we're not going to take anything away from our offerings now granted to be fair it sounds like and i don't have much clarity on this myself because we'll see it when it happens or when the time comes upon us but supposedly People that have Game Pass console are grandfathered into it. There was a little bit of question about whether that that grandfathering would lapse at some point in time, depending upon how many codes that you have. It sounds like now that as long as you keep automatic payments selected and you have the console tier, you will keep it permanently or, or keep it consistently. Um don't know if that's true or not. However, when these games that they got all the, the cheers and excitement for from uh, the showcase hit, when those drop, those are gonna be once that console tier erodes and, and, and is gone, because it's being replaced by standard tier where there's no day and date games in there. Then they raise the price. But in comparison for PC, PC Game Pass is going to stay intact and they're just going up $2 a month. Wow, right? Then when you look at the annual fee for the core tier where uh, you're just getting, um, you know, it's pretty much Xbox Live Gold, that, that annual subscription is going up significantly. So one of two things are happening. 
the console piece is being reconstructed in a way that was hinted at previously would, would not happen. And you can't compare that to what's happening with, with PlayStation Plus because PlayStation Plus was never offered or advertised as a pillar way for um, PlayStation people to interact with the PlayStation ecosystem. You can't say that about Game Pass. And a core element of Game Pass is day and date. So you A, rip that away from the console element, B, keep the PC element intact, and C, kind of do something that you said you didn't want to do, slimy console things to get people to do what you want them to do. Meaning you take away the offerings for anybody that sees these future games and then wants to sign up, once these future games from the showcase become part of the service, you take that away and now you're forcing them to sign up for Game Pass Ultimate, which is now being raised to $20 a month. All right, that's a problem. And that cannot be compared to the price hike, which also sucked, right? We never like to see prices. I'm not gonna justify that. We never like to see prices go up and go up significantly. That sucked too, but it, th this is something different. PlayStation Plus is not a pillar element of the PlayStation experience where Game Pass and day and date Game Pass is. And you're stripping that from the console gamer, which brings us to our second point. Overall, why this is getting more emphasis than the PlayStation Plus price hike. Why are you just doing this to the console people? Are you, I mean, first you tell us you don't need a console. Go ahead and get play Xbox games on Fire TV. There are what it looks like AB testing screens showing up that you're offering access or that you're suggesting access to a totally different marketplace when it comes to games that you offer, excuse me being like Street Fighter 6, you're telling people on the console via these screenshots, you know what, you wanna play that game? You can play it on GeForce Now, which I feel like GeForce Now is the better place to play it. But as Xbox, why are you saying that on your console? This is your proprietary hardware. You have a version on here. Why aren't you selling that and selling that solely? So you're devaluing what makes the console the console. So if I'm a pure console gamer, who I may not be enamored by the cloud, especially if I played xCloud on Fire TV. You, you heard our good friend of the channel, Doc Dark, he said it was trash. You've heard what I said about it. I'm not even going there. We're talking about what everybody else thinks. He said it was trash. So they're not interested in the cloud. They wanna play natively. And now all of the things that make the native gameplay valuable are being taken away. That is going to be talked about more and should be more of a focus than PlayStation putting one of their, their side services, raising the price on it like everybody else's raising subscription service. Again, the big kit and caboodle isn't that Game Pass is going up in price, it's that Game Pass is being transformed primarily on the console side in not a positive way. So kudos to Paris for, for pointing that out. You can, look, you can look at your screen and see the shock on their faces. <laughs> what he said is they're like, we can't believe this. But it, it was a bitter pill to swallow, but something that had to be said uh, amongst all the rhetoric that was being put out there. I'm gonna be talking about this a lot more in detail via a podcast that I'm doing with the members. We're gonna get into more of this and talk about all the surrounding elements and why Xbox is doing this now and talk about the Xbox community civil war that's brewing and what, how it's gonna eventually end because of this. Join us for what we call NRO Talk Watch. That is our members specific uh, um, um, podcast that we do. And if you're not a member, you're missing out on great content. We got some great interviews coming and we also are gonna have some great giveaways coming as well. Hit that join button so you miss none of it. And you'll get introduced to our Discord community as well. But that's it. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for coming through. Until next time, which uh, we will see you on NRO Podcast, our flagship weekly podcast. Until then, on Friday, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.